Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. Wearing this. Wearing <laughs> ah, so why is it already playing? Because I didn't pause it. Okay. <laughs> Captain Marvel. Yeah. All right, now we get to see a, a whole like minute and a half of the exact same scenes from the last episode. But we need the exposition. <laughs> don't don't just the exposition. It's it's needed. I swear. I mean, did you forget the novel you had to read at, like at the very first, the very first episode? And they give an update on like every character. True. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, got got to read that bio. The Scorpion tricks Bentley and Fisher into revealing the hiding place of their lenses. I love those Scorpion boobs. Captain Marvel <laughs> saves Bentley lenses and hurries to Fisher's estate. My lenses are usually behind the couch. Mine are in my eyes. <laughs> Y'all have eyes? <laughs> oh, did he? Oh, he's so nice. He rang the doorbell. There's nobody here. <laughs> he hates doors too, by the way. <laughs> I can see you. You're, you're right behind that curtain. I can, I can see you literally, like five feet from me. Well, maybe he can't. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't prove anything. Also, I'm not sure how to feel about this part. Like, bullets literally do not affect him. But like this does the electricity uh, from the b earlier. Remember, he, he got knocked out. Well, yeah, I know, but like he's he, isn't he, he, his like super form. Why? Why is it affecting him? Tazen hurts. Isn't he supposed to be a super? This doesn't look super super. Get one of those plug in lights that you put in the hallway. Man, it would have been real funny if that was like a fake lens all along. <laughs> I gotta go back to my moped. Well, you cracked his arm for me pulling you up by the arm, for one thing. It was a scorpion. That's the second lens he stole. What are we going to do to stop him? Nothing right now. You must tell Malcolm and the others to take some drastic action to protect the rest of the lenses. He said, what are you going to do about it? Probably nothing right now. <laughs> well. <laughs> That's a throwback to the mass YouTuber. certainly need Captain Marvel's help more than ever now. Quit emptying your hat on my chair. Thank you. When and where the scorpion will strike next. That's how he saved my lens. Where did you get his information? How did you know that Fisher was on the internet? Where else? We are missing a very useless woman in here. Where'd Betty go? I know, right? Keith, Keith, do you not remember? She's resting. That's true. My bad. Strict confidence. Our lives depend upon it. Wallace should be made to understand this. 
And I got a meeting right, over at Pee Wee Herman's house. I shall warn you <laughs> to repeat the things she hears at these meetings. Yeah, he looks like he'd be quite capable of teaching someone how to play the uh, space ghost, uh, space cruiser. At the meeting today, I learned that Betty Wallace has been talking too much. It was her information that brought Captain Marvel to Fishers. We can use her to lure him into a trap. What kind of a trap would ever hold him? She is constantly being abducted. No living being could withstand. Get your hands out of your pockets. I mean, like, canonically, there are no other you know, um, women in this universe, so, like, <laughs> right. you know. <laughs> well, Mr. Malcolm can bite me. Now I gotta play nursemaid to a telephone all afternoon. Well, off to get kidnapped again. <laughs> they're not even waiting for her to get anywhere now. They're just, just going to kidnap her in her own car. She's already kidnapped. She just didn't even know it. The, the the driving the car down the road scene is so convincing. I almost forgot it was a dude. Hey, 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 wait, why is the trunk shut all of a sudden? <laughs> he shot it immediately spun out and like... Oh, this Take a move! Crazy. Why does why does no one give her a gun? Hurts. We pick you up. Get in. The front seat. That's a. All right. Whatever. Well, I mean, at this point, whatever. <laughs> He's a terrible nursemaid for that <laughs> telephone. Hi, Whitey. Where's Betty? the studio phone and ask her to bring your notes. Didn't you know about it? No, I just came over to get them myself. Well, see, you don't suppose that was a phony message, do you? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to... No, it her. must have been legit. You stay here. I'll call you later. You look like you were here with Jimmy Olsen. Hold on, that's Betty's car. <laughs> oh, don't say Shazam in the car. That thing will explode. <laughs> He's got to change to Jim now. He's got to fix that tire. There's no way he thinks anything went wrong. I mean, it's just a flat tire. We get them all the time. That was that... Smart trick. <laughs> Did you just take the keys out? Uh -huh. <laughs> that's, that's why uh -huh. you don't put the hostage in the front. What were you thinking? Come on, we'll have to find those keys. You come along too and help. Yeah, because that's who I want looking for the keys. The lady that just threw them down. <laughs> She's like, I found him. Oh, no, just candy bar wrapper. I found him. Oh, just a can of Coke. Did, did they have candy I know, bars? right? <laughs> what? Come on, lady. Catch him. <laughs> These oh, yeah, guys are smart. like the smartest criminals ever. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> yeah, so let's all uh, run through the forest in our like very expensive apparel. I I guarantee she's wearing heels. Shazam! Oh yeah, she is. <laughs> right like, in the open, like, are... <laughs> <laughs> right in front of everybody. Nice. Oh no, yeah, but he was looking another way, so it's safe. Oh okay. <laughs> Yeah, the fact also, that no one knows who this green, guy is. Like deaf, so. Where is Miss Wallace? I, I don't know. Oh, throw him off a cliff. <laughs> he did the Batman smack. <laughs> I said, where is Miss Wallace? She, she ran into the woods that way. Smack. Oh, thank you. Okay, okay, this time it was just a shove. I mean, really? Oh, I mean, he go. was gonna let you go, but smack, smack, I mean, smack. come on, man. <laughs> Drown him in the river. Roll. He gets back up again. Wait, hold on. What? What's, what's, with, what's with her hat? Where oh, in the world on, is Carmen San Diego? Under the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Look along the edge of the lake. I'll try down here. Hmm. 
immediately gets caught. Oh, 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 I'm out of breath. Okay. Oh, someone's getting drop kicked into the river, into the, the lake. Yeah. <laughs> nope, uh, crush. Ah! <laughs> hey, I, I, at least it was into water, you know? I, I don't think that would be that high up for it to be like concrete water, but you know. No wrestling, buddy. We're harmed in making of this picture. Thank you. That was like a trademark move, though. Boom, boom, shaboom, shazam, a clamp. I was thinking that Michael Fontaine. This guy's got like super strength, and he punches a guy, and you know, you would think it would cave in that guy's skull, but it doesn't. No, he 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 knows how to temper his powers. Yeah, you would think it would be just insert uh, Captain Marvel and place his ship near the Tokyo, right? No, nope, someone's going over the bridge. Dang, I'm getting good at making these. Okay. Oh, good. You hit the rocks below. <laughs> Throw her off now, too. I was gonna, man. I was <laughs> just gonna say that. <laughs> Damn woman keeps getting abducted. <laughs> this will teach you. Where's my gun? I'm gonna shoot at him again. I mean, why would he even... I'm surprised they're not going to try and outright kill some of these characters. Like, like they've tried, but they're being too, like, circulatory about it, you know? Oh, sure. She's just going to get kidnapped again. What? Wait. Why is he saying all like that for? Shazam! Like, like it's a book at the library. The shadows after him. Yeah, safe, safe until the next episode. That's what he meant. I'll do the driving now. I mean, do you guys agree that you would say it with the player, like? Shazam! Or Shazam! Or, I don't know, something like that versus Shazam. Wait, did she drive off and then immediately get abducted again? Yes. And take him along with the girl mm -hmm. to shot mm -hmm. in the bombing rain. Right. Can we come back here and call Captain Marvel? No, oh, he might be suspicious unless the girl calls. I gotta say, for a guy wearing a mask, he speaks a lot more clear than the pumpkin from the, wi the Wizard of uh, Oz. Why? There's no need to be frightened, Miss Wallace. Yet, that is, if I have your cooperation, I... You'll never have my help. Bang! But you'd better listen to oh, You can save yourself and your friend Batson a lot of trouble. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> Are you hit? Damn you, Destro! I told you to check up for guns! up at his office and get both of them out to the shack at once. Right, move on. How does no one recognize his voice? There was only six guys. <laughs> it just but a mere flesh wound. If she would have hit that robe, she'd be a goner. I know what that's like. <laughs> Just shoot the guy already! Like, oh my god. I swear, they make it this much more complicated than it needs to be. Are you, are you saying it would have been bad if she put a hole in your plaid? 
Yes, it would have been bad with a whole lot lad. This is the Scorpion. The plane has taken off and will drop the demolition bombs on the shack in a few minutes. Leave the shack immediately. Love shack, baby. Come Love on, shack. Be over in no time. Ah, uh, the orphan Annie hour is on. I got to get undone. Billy, I'm going to call Captain Marvel. He can get us out of here. <laughs> He's like, no, please. <laughs> she was doing the hop, the monster hop. I wish I could turn on my radio that easily. Wait, I don't have a radio. Never mind. Calling Captain Marvel. Calling Captain Marvel. Over here. Over here. Billy and I are tied up in a shack on the bombing range. Please help us. If he says Shazam why he's... Marvel, does that count? No. No, I, I don't think so. Because oh, uh, th th this is what happened again, uh, like earlier. This is how Two Face was created. <laughs> right? Bombs away! Well, well, they're clearly dead. Clearly dead. Yeah, that's it. Hey, the blood I wonder. I wonder if like a conveniently sharp piece of debris is gonna cut uh, the mask off. <laughs> huh? So much for Captain Marvel. <laughs> That's what they do every episode. Like Captain Marvel dies every episode. They do love her fake outs. Shazam. Yeah, he ain't nothing but a second rate Superman, is he? I don't he know just... if I'd call him second rate, because I mean I mean he he can murder people. Isn't yeah, that, true. Isn't that better? Screw yeah, but like I mean, he's just—I don't know. It's like he's not quite as good at it as Superman is, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like he can fly, but he doesn't have like. But yeah, he does have a dark guy. side that is appealing. <laughs> this is appealing. <laughs> More relatable, I guess, right? Right. Here we go. Less alien, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, he, he, he is human. To be fair. I mean, his his only like weakness seems to be electricity so far. Alright. Uh that <laughs> twice he's doors. Been... No, uh, he just hates doors and, and well, they, okay, um Billy Billy's weakness is doors. I mean Billy Billy can't pick up a, 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 a paper clip. And yeah. he's kind of a square, like you don't, like he's just Shazam all boring. <laughs> That's how you. Oh yeah, uh, him. yeah, uh, but what was it? Oh yeah, another one of his weaknesses is apparently like uh, a gag. That's it. Wait, wait, wait. Are we in chapter eight? Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, uh, yeah, we're, we're in chapter, chapter eight. eight. Okay, okay. But don't get me wrong, I'm enjoying it. it I mean, it's it, it is oddly interesting. Barnett. I mean, I don't even know who that is. Yeah, I know, right? He's a henchman. 
They just named him. He's like a mini boss, I guess. The plane is taken off and we'll drop the demolition bombs on the shack in a few minutes. I think he went to college with the penguin or something like that. Come on, that plane will be over in no time. Captain Marvel, he can get us out of here. Captain Marvel. I, I don't even know who Mr. Hall is. Oh dang, she's dead! I didn't realize that huge ass. Yeah, she should have like a major oh, yeah. concussion. Got knocked out. Yeah. I mean, don't save her. Wait, 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 wait hold on. When did he transform? Just, just I thought he can't transform fire. with the thing on. Oh, was it? I have no idea. I mean, still no idea. It really sounds like that when there's a bomb coming down. The, do you really hear that? I mean, it, it might be like uh, air resistance or something. So you it, might. You know, Final Fire, we can count on you for two things. One, the dirty jokes and the really bad ones. You all right? This is the latter type. <laughs> Yeah, Final Fire 3, she's really punny, isn't she? This is really punny. Yeah, yeah. Quite ironic that this uh, this episode is called Boom Ring. Am I right? Injured his hand, the right one. Well, if the Scorpion's one of the scientists, we'll spot him at the meeting tomorrow. Well, come on, we got a lot of hiking to do. See, he could have just stayed as Captain Marvel and flew her home. In due time. Yeah, but how? Yeah. It bought her like a pack of Virginia Slims on the way there. You know, help her keep her maintain her sense of empowerment. Count on you to take care of it. I've got one trick that never misses. But how about your hand? Won't that give you away? Don't worry, Barnett. I've taken care of that. Why does he look like he hangs out with Orson from Work and Mindy? No, not the bush henchmen. Those are the worst kind. Are they just gonna shoot the hands of everyone? This looks like a great place where everybody can shoot and miss each other. Everybody here? Yes, they're Man, right. Quickie Lube's getting right. desperate. This ought to do the trick. I hope so. Did you just give him the finger? No, no, they, they were crossing. Dude, that was a I really know crazy. what they were doing, Trip. Are you sure? Hold, hold on, let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> the usual formality. What, what, what are they signing, though? I mean, I don't think it matters. They're just trying to find their right hand, but watch, this guy's going to be left-handed. <gasps> it's you. Stella, you wanted a telephone. Oh, thank you. Pardon me? Now, 
Nice timing, Betty. Well, who is it? It's Dr. Lang. Dr. Lang? That's hard to believe. What are you going to do now? Search his house. If he is the scorpion, then the golden scorpion and the lenses ought to be there. But Dr. Lang keeps a guard on the gate day and night. Hmm, if only one of us had superpowers. Is that Lang's <laughs> hat and coat? Yes, why? Yoink. <laughs> if I wear these and take his car, I'll bet I can get by those guards. Dr. Lang, he wants to leave soon. Tell him I had to take his car and keep him here as long as you can. It's not gonna work at all. Who's that? Must be lying, it's his car. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Are they gonna undo what they just did? I guess. How do you want it set? So she'll blow when the speedometer hits 50. Oh, it's speed. Oh, Dr. Lang, are you leaving so soon? Oh, yes, I, I have some very important work to attend to. I'm terribly sorry, but your car isn't here. Billy had to borrow it. What do you mean? Well, Whitey was supposed to pick him up, but he didn't get here in time. And yeah, I kind of got tied up, but I'll be glad to take you any place you want to go, Dr. Lang. Never mind. Uh, I'll call a cab. No, it's no trouble at all. Don't all right, touch then. me. I must get to my home immediately. It's a pleasure. Very well, come on. You ready? All set. Let's get out of here. Luckily, they put it on a car that can't do 50. Hold on, ain't that the boss? Oh no. <laughs> Has to get home so fast. Why, it's Billy Bat. We've got to stop him. Wouldn't it be hilarious if he forgot the word? Shaziz! <laughs> Charming! Shwarma. Shwarma. Shamwow. Search him. <laughs> oh, bang. That was He's easy. A little bit dead. What are we doing? Leave him there. Come on. Shh, <laughs> crap. <laughs> yeah, I mean. You couldn't shoot him. You know that takes hours, right? Well, apparently not back in 1920. Got you a little faster, I'm in a hurry. I don't like to drive over 50 miles an hour, Dr. Lang. Then let me drive. I'll step it up a bit. Say it. Say it. Say <laughs> it. Oh, no, it didn't work. Let's see if we can get her to He's like, oh no, I'm in Grave of the Vampire. I know, right? Come on, man. You know, the thing. Oh no, maybe he did forget the word. No, get right in front of it. That is the best way to... I'm now impervious to... I don't need to breathe anymore, apparently. 
Is this a door? <laughs> Not anymore. It is now. I hey, would do that too. I would look down big, like, really? That's pickles. All right, hanging from a tree. Nope, just. <laughs> What was that supposed to do? Uh, keep him there. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna see the hole in the door I made. Oh no, he lost his hat. That's unfortunate. Billy Batson. Yes, Dr. Lang. When I saw your wounded hand, I knew you were the scorpion. Well, what do you mean? Scorpion was wounded in the hand yesterday. Since you're the only suspect with a bandaged hand, I know. Well, I can explain that. Perhaps you can also explain why the Scorpion's men attacked me when I came in here. Of course I can, but it's not safe out here, Billy. Let's go into the house. I'd be glad to. I'd planned on searching your house anyway. I have no objections. Come yeah, on. that's what I planned to do. It's funny you mentioned it. We're going to look at your browser history, too. No! <laughs> Hot scorpions in your area. <laughs> Rather cold in here. You turn on the furnace and uh, give us plenty of heat. Yes, sir. Wink, wink, no judge. Just now, Michael Fontaine? That's the hot water. Looks like somebody's hooked on the pipe. I can believe the story of your injury, Dr. Lang. <coughs> but how do you explain the Scorpion's men being here? They're after me. The Scorpion wants my lens. Perhaps, but... Gee, I'm getting so sleepy, I... I can't... That was lame. Wait, he was standing right by it and didn't pass out? Well, yeah, but like, did you not see the cough held over his nose? It's probably uh -huh. some sort of like, a stimulant or whatever. Oh, oh, wait, that's what it is. Last... It's, it's the coke cloth. <laughs> Are you sure he hasn't spent the last five years building up an immunity to iocane powder? Maybe. What do you wish to do with them? I imagine Whitey will be all right. But if Scorpion's men find Billy, they'll kill him. So I have to take him to a safer place. Come, Vincent, help me to get him into the car. Yeah, we knocked you out to save you. Oh no, are the, are the henchmen going to take the other car and, like, blow up? Oh, no. Well, this is going to be very unfortunate for them. Oh, those stupid henchmen. Go faster! <laughs> Put that away. You shoot the green screen.
You know that picture of Picard with his hand on his forehead? That's that is what the whole audience is probably doing right now and what's about to happen. <laughs> Those are the dumbest henchmen in the world. <laughs> no, no, not quite. We, we, we still have a reserve of them, you'll see. <laughs> so, question. Why was that called Boomerang? Uh... I get the boom part. I think everyone got the boom part. <laughs> Dude, that's May... gonna haunt me forever. Why is it called Maybe it's because of, uh, like, the lady getting abducted? No. Good question. I'm not sure. Right. Vlad, do you right. have any insight to this? Or bad? <laughs> no idea. No quizzes, please. <laughs> I told you they'd be homework. <laughs> Oh, because they planted the bomb and they are the ones that got blown up. Um, that's it. That's it. I mean, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah like, like uh, what, what comes around? They, comes they, they around. really bounced back yeah. out from that one, didn't they? <laughs> or goes around, comes around. I don't know. And we're on nine also, now? it looked like they were driving in some like desert area, so they might be in Australia. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Explains the scorpions. We get, by the way, Whoa. considering that happened in the last minute, we get to see that exact same mistake all over again. Maybe that's also why it was called Boomerang. I'll be Keith's dad. And Whitey, in lowercase. Tried to take Billy to a place of safety in his car. The Scorpion went following Billy's car. I love how everybody had phones in all those most obscure places. This is Peter Lang's place. Dr. Lang just drove out with Billy Batson. They took the Mill Valley Road. Mill Valley Road? All right, I'll head them off. What I want to know is where did uh, the scorpion, like, he said, where was he able to walk by all these henchmen? Because he's losing quite a lot. <laughs> Henchmen got New England accents. Uh, they might be French. He got bored with the movie, he fell asleep. What? Oh, that's even they, better the second time. That, that he said, that implies that they spent time in the penitentiary upstate. Out the window. You know the, the accent you were speaking of. Yeah, the faster. Hmm. 
to them. There's been an accident. So I see. Are you hurt? No, but my my companion, he's unconscious. He's playing the little too. You forgot to tell him that your companion is unconscious because you poisoned him. Next week, I'm um, fucked. know where to take you. Get in. What, 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 what do you mean? I said get in. <laughs> Battlefire said roof feeds is a hell of a drug. I always wondered why they even called them roof feeds. It seems like they should be called flories, but I digress. You know, I, I, it's not also, it's also not lost on me that they saved the two people that were in that car, but they didn't even check that flaming car that was twenty feet away. Huh? Yeah. yeah well, I mean, they're, they're lost cars. Well, maybe they figured, you know, since it was flaming. to see you here. Please be seated. Uh, indubitably. Billy Batson was with him, so I brought him along. Splendid. Where's Batson? Downstairs. Under Why does he look like somebody who would beat you up for your lunch money? I mean, he probably did. To help complete the golden scorpion atom smasher. Something I, I'll never give you. I think I can change your mind. A bonnet. Prepare to loosen Dr. Lang's tongue. Yeah, he wouldn't even have to beat you up. He would just talk you into giving it to him. I mean, he has that smooth, sexy voice. The Scorpion does have a fantastic voice. Oh, this got interesting. I mean, the Captain Marvel has killed more people than the Scorpion right now. I mean, like, maybe. maybe. Yes, yes, anything you wish. Release him, Barnett. Where's your lens? In my library. There's a painting. Behind the painting, there's, there's a safe. So cliche, shoot him. Write down the combination. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Get the lens from Lang's safe at once. Yes, sir. Wait. Something should be done with Batson. You want me to take care of him? No, that's a pleasure I'm reserving for myself. I'll have him brought up. <laughs> it looks what like one of the hanging bamboo seats. <laughs> it did, yeah. Until I know your lens is where you say it is. Hasn't come to yet. We'll get some water and bring him out of it. It takes two of you to get water. I have to say, at least he said the, that time with passion. You know, Shazam. 
<laughs> you got it. You got it, Michael Fontaine. You win bad reference of the day. <laughs> gun of yours isn't going to stop me. But I think it will. Dr. Lang will die if you come one step closer. Fine, kill him. What do I care? I've killed like ten people already today. Malcolm's secretary speaking. Who? Oh, Dr. Lang. Let me talk to Malcolm. Mr. Malcolm's out of town. The Scorpion's men are after my lens. Can I be of any assistance? No. Shh. No, you should go rest. <laughs> yes, that's right. It's in the alcove behind a painting. The combination is R24. Four twenty-four. That sounds like a combination some idiot would have on his luggage. <laughs> Wait, that's my combination to my luggage. Oh, never mind. Oh no, no, that, that was in my other library. Silly of me. There's nothing important up there. That He's gonna run into Batman at some point, running through all those caves. Just saying. I'll start at once. I'll bet it. Something I must warn you about. There's a death trap in there. You the scorpion? Man, he wasted no time, did he? But at least say his name, damn it. Oh, conveniently covering his face. <laughs> I know. <laughs> How's he going to get that past security? <laughs> oh, off to get abducted again. <laughs> say that every time because that happens every time. Or, or she needs Dr. to take a rest. Dr. That is safer. Going to my house. Why? Go for the Emmy. It's a death trap. Yeah, all of a sudden you see a glo golden globe come up. <laughs> what, a, what a respectful way to lay the dead man. Busy inside. Understand? Sure. Lock up the gates and keep out of sight. Let's go backwards. <laughs> My boomstick. This must be it. Well, t just this open is. it. You don't have to open up those panels. Now open up that panel. Here's now the now the one next to it. Right. Now that one. Wonderful. Now now that one over there. Oh, that's Captain Marvel. 
no, 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 that's a security system. Ah, <laughs> oh, I guess this is why it's called Dead Man's Death Trap. Daniel Bloom is protecting the grounds. There's a riddle on the gate. A gate? That's a door. <laughs> <laughs> he went about like Wait, he just, <laughs> just slid twenty feet. <laughs> Strike. I'm gonna use my superpowers to shoot this guy. Oh, never mind. I mean, well, normally he would just shoot him. <laughs> Betty. Betty. Remember me, the, Marmy guy? The main actors finally made it to the studio. Yeah, where is he? What? And here's the combination. But he talked about some danger. A matter of life or death, he said. I think I know what he meant. Three seven three zero zero seven five nine six three. He's been well taken care of. Let's go get that lens. Oh my god. <laughs> he he has dumb. <laughs> he said it was in the alcove, didn't he? Yes, behind the painting. This is it. Why does everyone say that before they open it? <laughs> Read the combination to me. Right, 24. One. Two, three, four, five. Right seven. Left ten. And here's the last number. Right eleven. Bingo. Yes, that was my head hitting the desk. <laughs> the brown stone. I mean, bitch. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, I'm, I'm allergic to stupid like that. Yeah, you said. No, no, but 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 you know, um, Benny over here is gonna. Uh, like, look behind him. Like, that last moment. She, She's clearly dead. This... Maybe. No, nah, she's not dead. <clears throat> also, I changed profile picture, because of course. Wait, what number are we on? I keep losing track. Uh, we're on 10. Okay. It would be sneaky if they put in a, one of those jump cuts and it was actually the goons trying to get back in. Whenever it fires. <laughs> they just do a, like a straight up 10 minute jump cut. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah, probably what happened. <laughs> Michael Bond, I made coffee faster than the reading of the combination. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my coffee machine. They oh, wait. Oh, this is what happened last time. Okay, hold on. I even downloaded like a new one so that it wouldn't do that. 10, 10. Let's see if this one will work. Thanks for the nightmare fuel. I like that. Oh, that's such a good picture. <laughs> I dropped my keys, my nail clippers, and my condoms. Damn it! 
Why do I always fly like this? He's kind of got a downward tilt going on, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Huh. All his pain is gone. Gotta be aerodynamic. He's just top heavy from all the muscles. Again, it looks like they're taking their like school picture. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> the names were changed to protect the innocent. Thank you. And if you got that reference, you're this many years old. Wait, tries to warn Betty of a death trap at length. So when did that happen? Betty's not even here, it's just like added on to Billy's. I think I know what he meant. There was a man with a gun as you drove up. Really? Where is he? He's been well taken care of. Let's go get that lens. He's in the Betty Ford clinic. Oh, <laughs> they jump cut. They did. It was called. No? Aww. <laughs> No, we're just way early. Wait, do we have to... In the alcove, didn't Please, the do, you don't have to read the whole combination again, do you? <laughs> no, no. Oh, I here it is. This. this is it. Yes, announce it. Are, are, are the goons going to be up behind him and take all the bullets? Oh no. Right twenty four. Left eighteen. Right nine. Left sixteen. Oh no. <laughs> Curtains for you, Gene. Curtains, yeah. Oh, Curtains. Right, last number. Right eleven. We push the women, we hit the men. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Three minutes in. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> guys. Guys, I think I, I think the gun going off crashed it. We're done. I think so. <laughs> Too much power was unveiled. Uh, combination. They looked like Tommy's a little bit. Oh yeah, no, I I bet they were like some sort of Tommy Slaw no not Tommy Slaw, uh Tommy gun uh mounted. Okay. I guess it was just way too much power. All right. <laughs> if I show you guys something, will you forgive me? <clears throat> no. I mean yes. Depends. Let's let we'll have a we'll have a, 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 a mini short in the middle of these. How about that? Here we go. Is it is it gonna be the fire one? No. Beware, boys. Wait, let me let me first say I was I was saving this for an episode with the Ram in it because we know mm. how how he he is, but uh, uh, I think I think you'll like this. I'm Lieutenant Williams, a police officer attached to the juvenile division. I'm on my way to Monroe Junior High School to talk to a group of young people. My name's Friday. That looks innocent enough, that. doesn't it? Lots of young people hitchhike. Seems like a good way to get from one place to another. But doing? sometimes there are dangers involved that never meet the eye. Let's take the case of Jimmy Barnes. Jimmy played baseball all afternoon and he didn't feel like walking home, so he decided to thumb a ride. Oh, 
Well, he has everything he does. He'd done it a hundred times before. He didn't think anything was unusual when the driver struck up a friendly conversation. In fact, he seemed like a real nice guy. He asked Jimmy if he played baseball in the park often. Jimmy told him they practiced three times a week and played a rival group on Friday afternoon. The stranger was a good listener, too, and it only seemed minutes before they pulled up in front of Jimmy's house. When Jimmy got out, the stranger gave him a friendly pat. Is this a, is this a pedo thing? <laughs> then he told him he'd see him again, as he always drove by the park on his way home. We'll see. Sure enough, the following day when finished playing ball, well, the man was there waiting. Wait a minute, how? I mean, we knew it's just all the kind of strangers. They stopped at a drive-in and the stranger treated him to a Coke. During their conversation, they told coke. several off-color jokes. But Jimmy had heard others before and, well, it made him feel big to so easily win the confidence of an older person. Saturday they went fishing together. Fishing. By now they were using first names. Ralph said it was more friendly. Oh, Jimmy Ralph hadn't enjoyed himself so much in a long time. Jimmy, have you ever seen a full then during full lunch, check, check Ralph out. showed him some pornographic pictures. Jimmy knew he shouldn't be interested, but, well, he was curious. What Jimmy didn't know was that Ralph was sick, a sickness that was not visible like smallpox, but no less dangerous and contagious, a sickness of the mind. You see, Ralph was a homosexual, a person who demands an intimate relationship with members of their own sex. But by now, Jimmy felt a fondness for Ralph, and they continued to go places together. Ralph was generous and took Jimmy many interesting places uh, and did many nice freak. things for him. Interesting. He bought presents and even gave him money. But payments were expected in return. You see, Jimmy hadn't yes. recognized Ralph's approach soon enough. When Ralph first asked Jimmy to go fishing alone, he should have discussed it with his parents or teacher. You're going to Dexter's apartment. Finally, Jimmy told his parents, and they reported it to the juvenile authorities. Ralph was arrested, and Jimmy was released on probation in the custody of his parents. But all homosexuals are not passive. Some resort to violence, as in the case of Mike Merrick. <laughs> Be careful! <laughs> okay. In the heat of competition, no one noticed the man who sat and watched. And when the game broke up and the others left, Mike decided to stay and practice sure, a little longer. Kids. Come on, guys. I mean, this is awful. This is... Yes. The stranger joined him. He was friendly and, well, it was better than playing alone. He's not limpy enough. But after a few shots, Mike realized he had already overstayed his time and suggested he'd better leave. The stranger told him if he'd like to stay longer, he'd be glad to drive him home when they finished. Sounded great to Mike. Chance to play longer and get a ride home, too. You know, notice we're all silent, by the way. I'm just... Yes. <laughs> just... I, I don't know what to say. I think I broke you off. What, what, what can we say? I mean, what can we say? When they finished, the stranger told him he'd make a fine player someday if he got lots of practice. The companionship, the praise, the friendly attitude dispelled any misgivings Mike might have had about going with a stranger. He probably never realized until too late that he was riding in the shadow of death. But sometime that evening, 
Mike Merrick <laughs> traded his life laugh. for a newspaper headline. Oh my God. As Denny and Jerry got the papers ready for Jerry's afternoon delivery, they only casually noticed the two boys that raced by in the afternoon traffic. And they didn't pay much attention to the car that drew up shortly afterwards until the man. Who? Okay. Wait, we lost this one too? Uh, right. This website's too no good. This, this is mildly uncomfortable. I mean. <laughs> well. <laughs> Yeah, guys, we're... guys, no, 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 no. We, we, we... You, you need to be careful with the gay, or else you might catch the gay. <laughs> I already caught the gay a little bit. <laughs> Dude, look, if you've been on the internet for any extended period of time, there is a decent chance you've already have the gay. <laughs> well, I know one thing. I'm never going to be uh, thumbing a right anymore. <laughs> Dude, I, I never thumbed a right, period. Well, it's kind of fun, honestly. I've, I've done it uh, I once. I've given people a ride here and there, but I've never actually did the hitchhiking per se. I've done a ride from a 73-year-old man before. Hold on, Matt. How old are you? I'm 24. Uh, but th this is back am I, like am I the youngest game. one here? Yes, you're the youngest one here. Really? Damn it. Yeah, 19. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, you're a baby then. Oh, gosh. I remember my first beer. I'm having a beer I, right now. <laughs> I probably won't be able to drink beer. I did it. I, like, e even if I'm of legal age, I like, uh, you know, celiac disease, it, gluten. Guys, I don't know. Right. Bleh. So do you guys want to do you want to vote on whether or not we, 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 we wait for the boys beware, which is like two minutes away, or, or yeah, we go I mean, back to I, Adventures of Captain Marvel. You know, I, I did see, I, I got to admit, I did see this. This was like on, uh, what's their names did this? And, uh, yeah, I don't know if I could do a, any justice whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's, it's one of those things that you just watch with your mouth open going, are they really doing this <laughs> the whole time? <laughs> I mean, just, guys, 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 you gotta make her don't catch the gay. It's contagious. At least it's educational to some extent. <laughs> Is it? I mean, like, if they would have changed words, they would have been fine. But yeah, they, but, it's the words. What, what, what words? What words? No, I can't. I can't say it. Uh -oh. at, at least they're trying to get people to not just get into a random car with somebody. <laughs> yeah, especially I mean, if it's a kid. That's a good point. True. But, true. You know, <laughs> like I wish I would have known about that whenever I was, you know, sixteen. <laughs> Not getting into a car with a stranger. Don't don't, don't catch rides, kids. You'll become gay. <laughs> I think that's I think that's the reason I'm partly gay. You know, just because I got into the car with a with a guy. <laughs> Bro, you, you should have seen this infomercial, then. Exactly. If only they you know, still showed it in school. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. File Fire, Michael Fontaine, anyone else who's watching, and and you guys, uh, maybe we'll we'll spring this on Rav in the future. That's what we'll do. We'll yeah. move on. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> a trap. <Yeah. laughs> we'll spring on Rav. Just in the and middle of it, the game. We'll be in like the middle we'll... of the next movie that you watch with them. Just <laughs> start <laughs> playing it. <laughs> we'll just. Well, I'll be like Rav, Rav. I got another short that's a lot like Force of Vengeance because he really liked that. <laughs> Would you be able to possibly like cut the uh, uh, cut a show that you're watching with him and then like splice it into the middle of it just randomly? <laughs> oh, yeah, just, like an ad. <laughs> just just put scenes from it yeah. into, into a movie. And then what we, what we need to do is like do adventures of Captain Marvel intro or something, or, or, or like just the intro. But instead of continuing on into the show, it like uh, it goes into the ad. But I, I tell you what, what? No, I just got a new one. This is a new one. <laughs> no. All right, hold on. We're going to have some. You broke it. <laughs> The Bro, of maybe. For a second. Do you think Captain Marvel uh, oh, my might have caught gay? <laughs> I think so. My stomach either hurts from laughing so hard or from the pizza I just ate. 
Are you sure it was? Are you sure it isn't the gay? I think it's the gay. I think it is. Let's see. Uh, what episode were we on? Uh, we're 10. 10. Episode 10. All right. Uh, let me see. No, too late. The stranger joined it. He'd like to stay longer. He'd be glad to drive him there home when they finish. Well, I fixed this. Sounded great to Mike. Chance to play longer and get a ride home, too. finished, the stranger told him he'd make a fine player someday if he got lots of practice. The companionship, the praise, the friendly <laughs> attitude Boy, dispelled any misgivings Mike might have had about going with a stranger. He probably never realized until too late that he was riding in the shadow of death. But sometime that evening, Mike Merrick traded his life for a newspaper headline. As Denny and Jerry got the papers ready for Jerry's afternoon delivery, they only casually noticed the two boys that raced by in the afternoon traffic. And they didn't pay much attention to the car that drew up shortly afterwards until the man called them over. Hey, boys, would you like to get in? Had two boys been buying bicycles? The boys nodded they had. Could they recognize them if they saw them again? Well, Denny guessed he could. Then hop in, the man said. Those are stolen bikes. Without giving it another thought, Denny got in and the car sped away. Wait a minute, Jerry wasn't watched. it their He'd bikes? been told many times, if a friend got in a car with a stranger to write down the license number. It didn't seem to apply, but, well, fortunately, he marked it down. When he delivered a paper to Denny's house, he asked his mother if they'd caught the boys that had stolen the bicycles. Denny hadn't returned, so he told her the story and gave her the paper with the license number. Being a careful parent, she decided to call the police. Jerry supplied the necessary information and the stranger's car was quickly spotted. Chips. was a good example of how important it is to always get the license number and description of any stranger who takes a young person off alone, no matter what they tell you. Public restrooms can often be a hangout for the homosexual. <laughs> Bobby and his friends hadn't noticed the man who had been in the restroom when they changed. And as it was late, he suggested they take the shortcut I, 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 under I the pier. Like, but the others preferred down. to take the more traveled way home. Three taps for yes. Three, two taps means no, I'm not in When Bobby recognized the stranger as the man in the restroom, the shortcut under the pier didn't seem like a good idea at all. Why does he look like Jaws from James Bond walking about the coast of my room? He kind of does. <laughs> After all, it's more fun to stay with your friends anyway. Bobby had made a wise decision. It may have saved his life. Stay away from the gays. The decision is always yours and your whole future may depend on making the right one. So no matter where you meet a stranger, be careful if they are too friendly, if the they try to win your confidence too quickly, and if they become overly personal. One never knows when the homosexual is about. He may <laughs> appear normal, and it may be too late when you discover he is mentally ill. So keep with your group, and don't go off alone with strangers unless you have the permission of your parent or teacher. Hey, Miss Shazam, I'm gonna go uh, for a ride with this stranger. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> Boys, beware. Um, the sad part is, is like back in the day, it was considered 
considered like a mental disorder and it was illegal. I mean, it's still illegal in a lot of countries. <laughs> true, true. 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 Yeah, I mean, like, sure. It might, it, 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 I would wager it's still sort of a mental disorder, but like it's now been placed into the like, uh, like, like it's not a bad thing to have anymore, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like the thing about people putting litter boxes into uh, bathrooms right now. Wait, what? People, what? Some people are putting litter boxes into bathrooms for people that identify as like cat and cat self. No, oh, no way. Thinking oh, yeah. no, no. That, that's a legitimate oh. thing. That, like I was going to the bathroom at the mall the other day and I found a litter box in the bathroom. Oh my God. At the mall. Yeah. Isn't that like a public health issue? Yeah. I mean, it was one of those like self cleaning litter boxes. <laughs> oh, no. oh, boy. The janitor ah. was in there cleaning it out. Like, you've got to be paying someone a lot of money to do. Yeah, for sure. All right. So, so real quick, I went, I went to try to, you know, I wasn't going to do the download again. I've already tried it three times and it didn't work. So, yeah. so uh, I have uploaded these all to YouTube already. So, we're going to go just from the YouTube ones. Wait, wait, hold on. You uploaded them? Yeah, this is me. See, look. Boop. I identify See? as the Hawaiian shirt, by the way. Hmm. If wondering oh, how unlisted. Okay. Big okay. A, you know, interesting. Just <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, I keep everything unlisted until we watch it, or usually I release it the day before if it's a movie. But shorts, I don't release until after we watch it. Well, I think I think that would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Can you hear it? Yes. Uh, yes. I uh, can't hear it much. No. Although no. they never really said anything important. Wait, <laughs> is it too? Is it not loud enough? It's not. There's no noise. It needs no more noise gain. whatsoever. No. Yeah, I couldn't actually hear it to be honest with you. Oh yeah, hold on, hold on. I don't know if you guys missed that or not. I said I identify as the wine shirt because I'm big and loud. Yeah. Ah, true. Oh, true. oh, oh. <laughs> I'm silly. All right, here we go. Here we go. Where, where are we? Where are we? Right there. Okay, here we go. I hate when people say here we go and they ain't even on there yet. <laughs> I just use it. <laughs> Absolutely no holes at all. All of that, and you hit like one person. No, I'll try. Well, the other two were standing back. Oh, okay. It's all in Bitcoin. Shit. It's an NFT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it shows where Lang hid his lens. Lang never brought his lens back to the United States. He left it in a tomb. Then we'd better get this map to the Scorpion right away. <laughs> see, see, he was smart. He didn't actually, like, uh, it hide it, you know, somewhere in his house. What are they house. doing? Are they... I think they did catch a case of the games. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Boys beware. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Sergeant Meatball, just, just, well, not to point out the obvious. Have you seen whee! Captain Marvel's bulge? <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, uh, we've all seen it. We got a lot of easily I mean, like, breakable furniture in this room. Yeah. That was a wallop. <laughs> That desk needs, or that table there, right. there needs to go. Right after that Beethoven, that Beethoven bus, like, hit him in the head, the back cave opens up. Shoot him. Shazam! Shazam. Uh -oh. clue. He's going to jump, like, four feet. Oh, there you go. I mean, I could fly and get the lens before anyone could get there, but no, let, let's just beat the crap out of this guy. <laughs> I don't know how they don't know it's him. Like, he always appears right after. <laughs> yeah, but cuffs? like, eh, superhero logic. Where does he keep his cuffs? 
That's my question. In <laughs> their pockets. Is he handcuffing them? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, oh, he used, like, material. Captain mm. Marvel, always ready for date Shazam. rape. He doesn't even have a utility belt. Just, he just keeps. No, I mean, like he kind of does. It, it's that like band around his midsection. That's true. Where'd the other man go? I don't know. I didn't see anyone when I came to, but never mind him. They were the Scorpions men, and they know where Doctor Lang's lens is hidden. We gotta get to Mister Malcolm at once. And they were singing, "Rock you like a hurricane." Well, did you guys have less respect for? Kazam every time he's in a different random porn category. Man, you broke up worse than the Beatles just then. <laughs> Bro, like, there's so much static. I swear it was a QR code. <laughs> one cause open to us. We must get to the Valley of Tombs before the Scorpion. Betty. His hair still isn't dry. Damn, how many episodes is this? Yes, Mr. Malcolm. We'll find out when the first steamer leaves for Bangkok. Then Take the towel off control. already. I, I think it's done. You all wish to see this thing through? Just saying. I'm no, you, you see between each episode in, uh, that I'll he appears in, too. he, he, he does take it off. But then either he like falls and there's enough. just a ton of dirt in it, or like a, I think a bird <laughs> once uh, dropped a load. <laughs> so like oh, he okay. has to keep rewashing it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Life, so <laughs> That's funny. Therefore, I propose this: each one of us, including Betty, shall have a portion of the map. In this way, I'm sure we shall all reach Siam alive. I mean, they know one of them is a scorpion, right? Captain in the freighter Carfax. It sails for Bangkok at midnight. Splendid. I've divided the map. What the well, did she say it happened at midnight? This is your share. Guard it carefully. Yes, Mr. Malcolm. I shall expect you all at the Carfax Pier promptly at 11.30 tonight. For the train? The train to Bangkok? Isn't that a song? <laughs> I think so. I don't know there is something about Bangkok in a song. Either that or there's a song about banging their cock. I don't know. Carry your orders and ample funds for your needs until I return. Yes, sir. Oh my God, this is heavy. My hernia is kicking. That, if that piece yeah. isn't extravagant, it's nothing. <laughs> oh, I'm going to slow up. I'm afraid. I'm sorry, but I'm worried. About the storm? No, the scorpion. He may have gone by clipper. I have to say, everything in there is remarkably stable for being out on the open sea. <laughs> Close that door. You think we're trying to heat the whole sea? We're way off our course. Somewhere near the Siamese coast. This will be on the typhoon the by morning. The fisherman. It's pretty bad out on deck. Why did they even invite the... Oh, he's the main character. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I was thinking they were on a plane, but it turns out they're on a boat, so I... Never mind. You know, Anyone makes a Titanic joke, I'm kicking you out. <laughs> that wouldn't be very ice of you now, would it? <laughs> I, I, I don't have any Titanic jokes. Yeah, I mean, any joke I would make, it, it would probably immediately sink. What if I screamed, I'm king of the world! Would that count? Dang, that water is like wicked high in the background. Oh my god. That's like 50 foot, 50 <laughs> foot swells. No, no, that's probably not quite as high as Snoop Dogg, but it's getting pretty close. <laughs> oh, for the last time, would you close the door? <laughs> I don't want to get wet. My mustache. <laughs> I mean, they are clearly dead. How many times can these guys die? I forgot all my mustache grease at home. My theory is... You know, like that the amusement park... <laughs> 
my theory is they have been dead this whole time, kind of like the Pirates of the Caribbean type of thing. I have for the longest time I thought it only applied to the Caribbean. Hide in the little tuba thing. How is there not like a giant hole in the boat right now from him doing that? Except get wet, apparently. I'm pretty sure his suit is like a water retardant. His hair is too. He's water retardant. Just retardant. Imagine trying to get a cell phone signal. <laughs> well, he's dead. Oh, wait. Yeah, I forgot he could fly. Shame. <laughs> this movie made in the 1940s, and he just pulls out a smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they had enough rope to go all the way to the shore. Are they not in the ocean? Where where are they? Well, like like, like I, I'm lake. assuming that those rock outcroppings were like, or like uh, like I forget I forget what it's called, but it's basically like. On the very edge of the island. I think oh, there is Paramount Lot Studio D, uh, Keith's dead. Damn it, oh, I think I see Moana returning the heart of the sea. Damn it, Sanji. You talked over my deadliest catch joke. How dare you? Oh, I'm sorry. That was me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do it again. No, no. The moment's gone. The moment's gone. <laughs> the moment's gone. <laughs> I know, right? It's like... At least like he's the Salvation Army. There's, there's a better time to practice for Christmas than right now, dude. <laughs> no. How did he get Really? Out he's here? I had no idea. Couldn't they have just checked the everyone's luggage and look for the scorpion outfit whoa how did he get on the boat that's crazy I'm gonna get some firewood uh how for the fire wait uh bro he, he's about to like commit minecraft no you idiot commit minecraft <laughs> start punching trees Don't forget to come back with the wood now. Yeah, for the fire. The big roaring fire they're having, you know. Those are such that? big waves in the back, jeez. Is, is Betty, is man, Betty just going down with the ship? Man, what? Disney World has really gone downhill. <laughs> Not just downhill, underwater even. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, you got good judgment location. there, Phyla Fire. You knew she knew Betty was a run around too, she said. We Why does he always look like he died but he didn't? Because it, it, it created, you know, a reason to come back. They almost look like they're having fun, though, there for a second. Well, that storm stopped fast. Yeah, thanks for all the wood, yeah. Captain Marvel, instead of, you know, saving our lives. Me, 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 me. Well, anyway, we got everybody off. <laughs> I mean, can they not do it? No. <laughs> you said it, not me. Yeah. I'm sure I had everybody, a everybody. <laughs> I was Everyone that matters, that is. <laughs> Don't worry, she's rusty. Quick, get me back to that ship. Got my leg over oh, on fire and shit. Never mind. Sorry, sir. Uh, one one ride for customer.
No need to fear. Captain Marvel is near. Looks like he's wearing really fat pants. <laughs> no, I'll just step hey. over this dead body here. I wonder, is this is this shipwreck to explode? Is he undressing her? Yeah, he's still on her up real quick, it looks like. Uh, he, you can tell that in real life he's carrying her a little more than five steps. Kaboom a lamb. That's okay, Aquaman will save him. <laughs> yep. Kaboom Kaboom a lamb is the Zamdong. The Valley oh, of Death. What why why is it called the Valley of Death? Is there like just a like a couple of gays in there? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, wham bam kaboom a bam is the lamb song. Well, I only have one bar of internet. I must be out at sea right now. Yeah, I can't hear Hebro. Can you guys hear Hebro? I mm. I wasn't talking. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And if he was, I was probably talking over him. True. <laughs> oh, time for another energy drink. Mm, time for another profile picture. Hold on. <laughs> time for another nap. Wait, wait. Can you see that? Did I yeah. do that wrong? Can you hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I just can't hear Hebra. I hear everybody but Hebra. I hear everybody but myself. I hear everybody but Saggy. Oh, wait. No, I hear Saggy. <laughs> Is that the energy drink? Yeah. <laughs> That's probably why he stepped on me a while ago. He couldn't. He couldn't hear me. That's funny. I am completely deaf in my left ear. I don't know why though. Dude, I guess I could make fun of Saggy. This would be the perfect time. Time to read. Shipwrecked on the reef of across the Siam. He just looks like a bad guy. <sighs> Captain Marvel rescues Malcolm's party. No, he didn't. He got firewood and the crew from the SS Carfax. And Betty rest. Betty is rested. Rested. <laughs> All right, who brought the marshmallows? You know what? Uh, I'm gonna uh, go AFK real quick. I don't need to see the recap. <laughs> Who started to nibble on that rope to cause it to break? Must be the scorpion chewing the rope while the camera's off. Yeah. And it just occurred to me the scorpion obviously had an extra mask. This is mask number three, by the way, <laughs> if you were counting. We can't forget the dummy scorpion Betty? from that episode. <laughs> Betty. Down. That one rope was holding that whole ship together. Don't say Shazam while you're holding her. Don't she'll explode. I'm oh, curious how Scorpion got off, because like how did he get off and keep the suit without anyone seeing the suit? 
they are. They're swimming ashore. Come on. So you went to your cabin, Betty. Then what happened? I was looking for some important papers when someone struck me from behind. Have you any idea who it was? No. Well, why would anyone want to kill you? He must have been after my section of the map and took my handbag. Was the map in the bag? No, it's in a waterproof envelope pinned inside my jacket. Oh, that was smart. Say, how do we get away from here? Kandapur, the native village, is just across the hills. We can reach there in a few hours. Good. Let's get started. How's my exit? Kandapur. I suggest we rest up for a couple of days and start for the Valley of Tombs day after tomorrow. I think that's a sense of... I, I'm, I'm done asking questions, Filefire. I mean, this is... You and Whitey see what you can round up on the way of cars and equipment. Yes, sir. Come on, laughing boy. Some days you don't even pay to get up. Get in the chamber, Mike. Next time on Spider Man, the Lizard Man. Fly, my pretty, fly! <laughs> we'll give this invitation to Harry Potter. Bird starts to fly and immediately falls to the ground. It gets eaten by another bird, a bigger <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, look, a bird. I will shoot it. Ooh, it's dinner. Next time on The Vulture. Next time on What's for Dinner. From our master, the scorpion. The scorpion likes to doodle. White infidels plan to enter the sacred valley the day after tomorrow. You know, I just thought of this. What, wouldn't it be funny if the scorpion took off his head and then it was Dwayne the Rock Johnson? <laughs> there will be no danger. I shall prepare a trap which will wipe them out before they can fire a shot. We will contact you immediately upon our return to America. Your school. Well, Billy, what luck? I see a lot of easily destroyable furniture. But we hadn't planned to leave until tomorrow. Pulls off the mask, he's invisible. Says, You can't see me. Played by John Cena. And that the cars are in good order? Well, certainly. I checked everything. It's early yet, and there's no use wasting any more time here. I'd like to get started and get it over with. We can get there before dark, can't we? Why, uh, yes. I suppose we can. Sure, we can, easily. Come on, let's go. Let's cut it out, will you, Billy? <laughs> you all set, Billy? Go ahead, Whitey. I'll be right behind you. Okay. I hate sitting in the back seat as an adult. Hey, as someone could have clearly got shotgun in Billy's car. Oh, it's the Tuscan Raiders.
Yeah, I saw you like five minutes ago. <laughs> hmm, what is this mirror glowy thing? Hey, what's Silva? And he kind of flies like the greatest American hero. Why were you sending that signal? Come on, talk for us. Yes. Please, I'll talk. The signal was to let my people know that the Malcolm expedition has entered the pass. Are they going to attack them? No. They have blocked the road in the canyon. They will go up the mountainside and bury them under a landslide. What? <laughs> That was one well informed uh, henchman. Mm -hmm. And I'm back. Did I'm I miss back. anything important? Oh, he's dead. Ah, I see. The White Angels are driving through the pass. They were not expected until tomorrow. No matter. We are ready for them. Finish laying the fuse. Was that the scorpion to give us a signal for the attack? So as Missy said, that he may not have the opportunity now. Our orders are clear. We must destroy the white men before they enter the valley. I mean, you're clearly a white man too. What? <laughs> I mean, like, n n now that we say that, it's kind of hard to, like, you know, actually just... I mean, like, this is a black and white, you know, serial. We, we, we can't be, you know, too hard on them. No, it's no use. We'll have to chop it up. I mean, my thick Indian accent, I mean, surely says that I'm Indian. Ow. Hello, I am from India. How may I help you today with your computer problem? <laughs> Yes, uh, pointing that out that it's Batman or Billy Batson. That is an interesting connection. Got to save the tree, too. Uh, can I get a ride? No, never mind, never mind. I'll just fly. Captain Marvel certainly saved our lives that time. Yes, but who planned that trap for us? Must have been the natives. Step on it, Whitey. We won't be safe until we're out of this pass. Well, now we know why Billy was in the other car. Son of a... Son of a Billy Batson. The infidels have reached the Valley of the Tombs. They will again dishonor our ancient gods. Let us ride down and attack them. They are well armed and we are too few. We must think of a way to arouse all the tribes against them. Only the volcano would speak. Its eruption has always been a signal for our men to assemble. But the volcano is sleeping. We will wake it up by diverting the river into it as ancient warriors once did. That, that's a that's like a creek. Just throw some dynamite into the volcano. No, you can't do that because in SpongeBob the Musical, that's how they stop the volcano. Let's join the oh. map and see where he hit the lens. Well, SpongeBob the Musical is definitely not real life, unlike this, you know. 
Are you kidding? I, I got all of my experiences I learned from SpongeBob. <laughs> Good. Let's go and get the land. Maybe it is real done. To invasion of the sacred tomb. Nothing but disaster coming. I think I'll stay outside and keep an eye on the cars. That's a good idea, Billy. Whitey, get us some torches and bring us some tools. If I ever find the magic conch shell, I'm not going to wait seven days to try rubbing it. I know that much. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, why wait seven days? That seems a pretty specific number. <laughs> trip. Trip. You win, Trip. You win. Oh, I can't believe it. This is the place, all right. Yes, but I have to buy off this land. Well, that won't be difficult. You brought your tool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Time to find more scorpion. Or someone has diverted the floor of the room. The volcano is erupting. The walls may fall down on us. Somebody can give me a hand with this quick. No, that's a volcano. I mean, the earth is technically quaking, so... <laughs> it, it does end with no for a reason, you know? Captain Marvel's secret? What is the secret? <laughs> I mean, they loved lava back then. Everything was lava this, lava that. True. Although this, yeah. this show took it up I a I like the lava sauce when Dr. Lava. Bell has that special. Mm, true, Taco Bell. Hmm. Man, that makes me hungry for Taco Bell. Thanks a lot, Sad. Or is it called Volcano Sauce? I forget what they call it. <laughs> mm, Taco Bell. All right, this is our last one. Woohoo! Oh, man, you make it sound so fanat for final. Oh. Where his identity right. gets revealed, maybe? <gasps> is that his secret? <sighs> oh, shit. He's it's gay gonna, the whole gonna be, time. It's gonna be Joe Biden the whole time. Is the <laughs> <laughs> that's it? It's not gonna be anything. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. <laughs> Nothing would surprise me at this point. <laughs> I mean, would it, would it really? <laughs> is the Scorpion Captain Marvel? I, I mean, <laughs> sure. I, <laughs> it might as well. Alter, alter Does the Scorpion go. actually identify as a Scorpion? <laughs> True. He he has a scorpion box in the bathroom. <laughs> the scorpion is the brother of Captain Marvel. Oh, ooh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> dun dun dun. He was dead the whole time. 
Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I think been that's me. <laughs> this has all been a... one dream. I think I see a Pokemon down there. Yes. I would hope that whoever the violin player is on this, he's never the violin player in my dream. <laughs> there is there is one secret we know it's not that uh, uh, that Billy Batson is not a virgin. We know that is uh, completely untrue. I thought you were going to say there's one secret we know, and it's that. Um, Never the hitchhike. I don't know. I was gonna say something about the gays, but forget it. That's it's gone. <laughs> the moment's gone. Forget it. Man, in the bar. Yeah, every time. Do you I think see modern them, day Billy really Badass is like uh, somehow geologically related to Billy Barton? I take it, Sagi still can't hear me. <laughs> He's still trying to step on me. <laughs> no, I guess he can't. Why can't he? I don't know. We, we can all hear you. We said you can't. The one person in the stream. Mm. I can't hear anyone. Not even myself. I'm Sagi, deaf in my left ear. You hear the voices talking? are too loud. Totally not. The the, the voices they they drown out everything else. Wait, can Sagi? Can you hear any of us? Yeah, I just don't hear Hebrew or Sergeant Meepo or whatever the heck that guy's name is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the same as mine. Why are you called Sergeant Meepo? Are you Swedish? <laughs> Wait, have you ever been able to hear him, Saji? I heard him say one thing like when he screamed it, but other than that, I ain't heard nothing. That's weird. I hear him perfectly fine. Maybe I should scream during the whole movie. Just be like Jack Septic guy I top of the morning to you. <laughs> oh, the cardboard's collapsing. Ah, my God. Uh, the and he literally is bringing down the house, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, the secret is it's basically episode one all over again. He is gonging the whole movie. Like, uh, okay, you're, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired. You know, just saying. Well, that hat and that mustache clash so hard. <laughs> no, you do or do not. Oh shit, we we stepped on each other. <laughs> there is no try. Just do. Shazam! Wait, he can't get that one little... The one tiny little ride. Right. <laughs> it feels like product placement every time he does it. Like, I'm waiting to see what brand of deodorant he used or something. I mean, that scorpion is the same scorpion that fell before. Like, it is the exact same one. So he clearly didn't put it up correctly. Yeah. No, no. I, or maybe it's a, a new a new kind of act alone. No, my theory is that, like, that thing's not actually on a hinge. Because it fell the same way too, so like, it's probably you know something catastrophic is going to happen when you start wearing that shit. Every time he says Shazam, he's promoting that song recognition software, <laughs> the app. Has she ever actually even walked in this movie? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> She's either being carried or kidnapped away. No one else shall be carried or kidnapped. No, please don't. No one will ever know. I won't tell. I won't tell. There is literally light everywhere except his face. Why does my computer think my camera's on? What? Mm hmm. Uh, and never once a bad guy ever. Well, in that case, since you said you won't tell anybody, I, I guess I'll go ahead and just uh, let you live. You're free to go, man. I'm legally obligated to trust you. Said no bad guy ever. I tried to tell the cops the same story, but they weren't having it. <laughs> you know. 
<laughs> and Scorpion is like a quick change guy. He's just like Scorpion. Maybe he has special words. Nah, maybe, 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 maybe that's just like a pullover. Well, he's, he's I, probably, I probably did maybe, more try on haul videos. That's probably it. I was going to say, maybe he has his hood at, at like, like, I don't know. Like his robe underneath his clothes, you know, and then the hood's just oh, like you know that this is the wish of the scorpion in his pocket. I don't know. <laughs> know that the volcano speaks for him. Perhaps. Burn the witch. Also known that the volcano will erupt if water is turned into it. Is it he, you look like he invited him to a Trump rally. Cause this eruption to serve his own ends. Al Chitali has spoken. With a voice of wisdom, we are not savages. Yeah, there would be more people there. We only act if it is the will of the scorpion. He surely will send us a further message. It's like, yeah, it's like he's convincing them to come to the Trump rally, yeah. Until then, let us wait. You have not long to wait. I am your leader, and I come here to command. The white men must be destroyed. <laughs> Opposite. Uh, we're, everyone's down with that. Man is not the <laughs> he literally looks like a, a KKK guy saying, The white man must die. Uh -oh. His future looks bleak. Chain them and guard them carefully. They shall soon know the power of the scorpion. Scorpion power! What is the scorpion power? The scorpion has triumphed in all the white infidels. You know, the sting! Even the mighty Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel? Is he still alive? Yes. But we need fear him no longer. For he is only... Get it? The sting instead of the thing? Never mind. Yes, I got it. <laughs> Some other device which Batson uses to transform himself to Captain. Marvel. I used to wrestle a guy named Sting. Batson he tried to put me in a scorpion death Captain lock. Marvel it never worked. Exist. True. But first, I must learn the secret of his transformation. You Why does he kind of look like the Cobra Commander? But you must be extremely I'm sure that's not by accident. <laughs> well, wait a minute. No. <laughs> um, this is 1940-something. <laughs> so... I mean, it's I like G.I. Joe you ripped them off, I guess. Now you gotta get moving, because I don't know how much longer Tal Chitali can stall the natives. You must be you super tired there, Betty. Malcolm, I'll join you as soon as I find him. But Billy, you can't yeah, go ahead. Right? There's no time to argue. You could be. Whoa, just hold your horses there a second. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh there is a bomb in this car. Why did I think it was going to disappear behind the bushes? Oh, reinforcements. Oh, wait, are those the same guys? Never mind. No, wait. Wait, are they? Hmm. Hmm. I think E.T. stole their music, too. <laughs> Why don't you guys take the big swords on the wall? Uh, historical artifact, I bet. Hit him with he the never back learns, of does he? Knife? For them! For them! For, for them! She works for the DMV after this, <laughs> Betty. <laughs> she just sits down all day. <laughs> Yelling at people. Then drive it right off the car. <laughs> what? <laughs> the car says to Sam. When did this movie become the Dukes of Hazard? <laughs> we pulled all that time. I hope so. Where is it? Uh, just now. I don't know, but we're sure gonna keep moving. 
Wait, did they jump the cliff too? They took the old uh, goat path. Now they have to fight a Gorm. Well, that's that. Row credits. The symbol of your ancient faith is finally restored. These are the last of the lenses. The room's going to start spinning, and then they realize they're on a giant spaceship, the like in the Andy Jones. Renew to destroy all its enemies and traitors. <laughs> I've seen the ability of this machine to smash atoms and transmute metals. You will now see what it does to a human body. Don't you need the, like the manuscript to know how to use it? Hmm. Doesn't Billy have that? No, no, no. They, they, they never, they never use the directions. You know this. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, they're men. <laughs> men never use directions. <laughs> Why do he throw firecrackers at his feet? See, Way to go! It is a very efficient method of execution, Miss Wallace. You are next. The guy forgot to say Shazam. Ali <laughs> <laughs> Gama. Ali oh, Gama. Wait, is it called, uh... Is it called to GM Secrets because he reveals he's Shazam, I guess? Maybe. To save the girl? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm What if they left this as a cliffhanger? <laughs> Only you can save her. I've learned of your ability to change yourself into Captain Marvel. Wait, how did he know? Aha! Uh -huh. What? Goes free. Well? Shazam! Shazam! How is he going to tell you? You have that thing over his mouth. Yeah, that didn't stop the pumpkin and the Wizard of Oz. You know, come on. <laughs> there you go. Don't untie his hands. There it comes. Yeah. Uh, did he even say uh, uh, tie his hands, but don't remove the cat? Wait, I'm confused. Yeah, I'll not only tell you how, I'll show you how it's done. Shazam! Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't realize that happened. I didn't oh, know that. <laughs> Break rope? <laughs> Who knew? Now I'll give a demonstration. I'm going to show you how you've been misled by an imposter. It's old man Jenkins. Aha! Uh -huh. Justice will be done to him. He committed many crimes in his own country, and he'll be returned there for punishment. He didn't have a very good grip on him, apparently. I know, right? <laughs> I'm using the toilet. Leave me alone. <laughs> you shot my tape. Ugh. Talk about going out with a bang. <laughs> oh, kill Betty. Kill Betty. Bing, bing. Oh, no, he walked into the light. <laughs> what was frying ants on the sidewalk? Are you going to... No, are you going to not disable the, the damn scorpion? Is a symbol of power that could have helped to build a world no, 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 that would be too easy. Man's greatest hopes. A world of freedom. Equality and justice for all men. <laughs> Equality and justice for all scorpions. That's my favorite kind of scorpion. Yeah. We weapons of mass destruction. Equality and justice for all men, except the men who are gay. Fuck them. Burn the memory of this from their minds. Your soup is ready. You know what? So I already the like this ground. movie. They have a random vat of acid. No problem. <laughs> All right. Acid for everyone. Every evil lair comes with a vat of acid. You should know this. So I need to get a vat of acid for my room? I can explain yes. Because my room is an evil lair? <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. Both indubitably. I just hope I don't trip and fall into it. Is it an end? 
at 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> I understand now that these people, those strangers, you just uh, use it to dangle good guys over, but you make sure they're unguarded, or maybe just one guard in front of the door, you know. Who is not only your enemy, yes. but the enemy of all mankind. Even though you return to your own land, you shall ever remain with us in our hearts. Gee, that means we can go home? Sure Keep going. Does, Whitey. And let's get started. Fist head. And then the rights And then the rights to Captain Marvel switched over to Marvel and was never seen oh again. Okay. Uh, it, surprisingly, this is actually owned by DC now. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. <sighs> so, so Batman might be canonical. I don't know what they or... I don't know. On the chalkboard, or figuring I was going across the chalkboard coming through my phone, man. <laughs> that was the best show I've ever seen in my life. Oh, true, my true. Goodness. We got through it. We got through it. It was yeah, fun, was though, fun. for real. I really did have fun doing it. I'm glad I was able to catch it with you guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And now the movie. Yeah, no part two. <laughs> Woohoo. Part two. It's not Scorpion. It's. It's it's um, desert tarantula. <laughs> I don't know why not. And it's two hundred and eighty-seven episodes long. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of fake outs. Each episode is is two hours long. <laughs> and it's, it's even lower budget. I still have Rob convinced that there's like 50 episodes of uh, um, Rocket. Um, yeah, Radar Men. <laughs> I sent him a screen, or we sent him a screenshot that that says there's 50 episodes. Wait, wait, hold on. Uh, f file fire. What do you mean, Trip? No pun intended. Because did, you are did the I pun funniest somewhere? guy I know. Oh, oh yeah, but I, I'm not sure what. Uh... What they are talking about, because, like, I'm trying to think. I can't remember if I did a pun. The funniest guy you know, huh? The punniest. Punniest. Ha! Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, that's it. There's, there's nothing left. That we, we got through it. This was our, our kind of a snow day special, so don't expect this every Thursday, Friday at the moment. <laughs> All right, no day Bruce. special. I, I, that's got a ring to it. Whoop, yeah, whoop. it Let's see who can who can come in with the most inches of snow. I'll bid first with zero. Holy <laughs> shit! I just realized today's Friday. Uh, how many Friday. did you get, Keith? That um, we got we got like a foot and a half. Well, let's just keep it in inches. What would you say? Eighteen <laughs> inches, sixteen inches. There you go. There you go, Trip. There's your pun. I had a senior moment there. Where uh, I the day can anybody beat uh, like 16 inches? He bro? That's what he said. Um, uh, zero, but in my home country, it got a lot. All right. I got some snow. And, uh, but by like, a lot, you mean more than 16 hmm. inches? Yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, what would you say? How many? Eight to 12 inches. Oh, you're talking about snow. Do, do home countries no. count? No, you mean, uh, that? <laughs> <laughs> no, they definitely do not. Because you don't. Uh, have to I got like maybe three inches. Snow. Snow. Oh, okay, well then, never mind. Oh, no, it's Forget crazy. that. Because <laughs> my home country, we they got thirty six inches. But oh I'm wow, in that country right now. I don't think I could take thirty six. Gotcha. Inches. Well, you, apparently you have to actually be there. It's kind of like. Darn. You know, the, Biden, the Joe Biden border policy, you have to actually cross the border to be in your hometown. So. But, my, but my home country isn't letting any Americans in right now because they're about to go to war with Ukraine. <laughs> oh, really? You go finger. Oh, well, <laughs> let's applaud for uh, Michael Fontaine. Well, it looks again. like you win, Keystack. Congratulations on the most snow. 
<laughs> now Keith's dead. What is your PayPal? I'll give you a dollar for winning. <laughs> but, but, no, well, no, 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 no. Most of us, most of what we got is Lake Effect. That's why I had so much. Was because we don't just get regular snow. We get the Lake Effect snow of Lake Erie. You make that sound. You make that snow sound like it's less significant. Like it, like it's it's flakes doesn't matter. But Lake Effect snow is snow all the same. Keith's dad. And it's very Lake heavy snow, snow too. Lies yes, matter. very heavy. It's like it's like meeting Trent Reznor right after he joined Nine Inch Nails. Very very heavy. <laughs> We gotta end this before the jokes get even worse. <laughs> All right, um, thank you for guy for coming, everyone. Michael Fontaine, I wonder Roxy, if I'm in the credits. Fire. <laughs> you are definitely in the credits. Yay! Okay. Hey, you made it. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, made it. so, so everyone have a uh, a good night and uh, crying out loud. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. See you tomorrow. We got see you tomorrow. We got. Oh, we got our. We haven't done a sci-fi movie in like forever. I'm so excited for the sci-fi movie. Cosmos, Man, I don't think I'm going to make it tomorrow. I, I won't be here tomorrow, but I'll be uh, watching. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I might lurk. I'll be honest. Looking, we have three scheduled. Uh, looking at them, I'm excited for the sci-fi. We have two sci-fi movies, um, followed by Jailbait. And I'm not giving any spoilers for Jailbait. J Jailbait is. It, I'm looking forward to that one. So. But yeah, all right. We'll see you guys. See you guys later, and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye Outro bye. time.